I've personally seen some great results in my lipids. My LDL was reduced about 10% using Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a supplement that I recommend if you're on TIT or you're taking a cycle or general health, but mainly for the guys on anabolics. It is grapefruit juice, and I'm gonna go through the studies now and explain just why this might actually really improve your health in some of the key markers in your blood. So what I usually use grapefruit juice for is hematocrit. Now hematocrit will rise on cycle as anabolics directly stimulate red blood cell production and high hematocrit is basically the proportion of red blood cells in your blood. Higher levels like up near 50, 51, 52% mean thicker blood and it's like trying to pump syrup through a tap, not gonna be great for you. It can mean that your heart is working harder to pump that around your body, leading to things like stroke, heart attack, cardiovascular events. And this study involving 36 guys and girls over 42 days showed that consuming grapefruit daily, they significantly reduced the hematocrit. Now hematocrit, when they first started, was anywhere from 36 to about 55%. At the start of the study, now at the end, the range came right down to 38 to 49%, so a big shift in the range downwards, meaning their blood was thinner. And for the guys who I work with who have high hematocrit levels, reducing their levels to grapefruit juice is actually quite beneficial. Not only this, it doesn't just hit the blood thickness, part of things. It also hits the lipid and blood fat part of things in your blood work as well. A really big benefit of grapefruit juice is it can lower your cholesterol levels, specifically LDL. Now this is largely due to the compound called naringin actually found in the grapefruits themselves or grapefruit juice and it inhibits enzymes involved in cholesterol production, HMG-CoA reductase. And this is the same enzyme that's actually targeted by statins and ACAT, ACAT, which helps store cholesterol. So you get big reductions in the bad LDL cholesterol, which is going to put plaque into your arteries. By reducing that, you're significantly reducing your risk of having plaque in your coronary arteries through the use of grapefruit juice. I've personally seen some great results in my lipids. My LDL was reduced about 10% using grapefruit juice daily. And this is backed by the studies. In a study conducted on rabbits fed a high cholesterol diet, those given naringin had significantly lower cholesterol levels compared to, to those that didn't receive the supplement. And additionally, it helped improve their liver function by enhancing the activity of enzymes that break down the fats, reduce oxidative stress, and therefore protect against further heart disease or plaque accumulating in the coronary arteries. Gonna be huge for the guys out there on stuff who don't wanna have a heart attack and want to keep their lipids at a nice healthy level. When you get your blood work, if all your lipids look in the red, then maybe it is telling you that you need to fix something to not have a heart attack in the future. To back this up in another study, high cholesterol fed rabbits that usually are gonna have really bad lipids and plaque accumulation that were given naringin showed reduced expression of genes involved in the development of plaque, such as VCAM1 and MCP1. These genes promote inflammation and plaque formation in the arteries. So by downregulating these genes, naringin, grapefruit juice or grapefruits, the fruit itself is going to help keep your arteries clear, stay healthy and not have as much plaque development and put you at risk of heart disease or heart attack or stroke later on. Not only this, but it can help with physical fitness too. So bone health, it can boost the activity of osteoblasts which are responsible for bone formation. Now in studies with rats, those treated with naringin showed increased bone mineral density, basically their bones becoming stronger, more resilient to stress. And in a study using an osteoporosis model in rats, Naringin not only prevented bone loss, but also enhanced the expression of BMP2, which is a protein crucial for bone growth and repair. And what was interesting is that the rats treated with naringin maintained higher bone density and showed less bone degradation compared to untreated rats, suggesting that grapefruit juice can actually be a very powerful tool to keep your bones healthy stronger if you are training hard, for example, running, strength training, things like that. It can also help in the repair process, almost like something maybe similar to BPC-157, probably not as strong, but the results from this study where naringin was used in a collagen matrix applied to bone defects in rabbits, the rabbits that had naringin applied had a 284% higher new bone formation than the rabbits that did not, suggesting that it may speed up the process of repair if you have fractures or if you have damaged any collagen matrix in your body. This is how BPC-157 works, not exactly like this, but it helps speed up the repair process. 
potentially this may be a natural alternative if a peptide like BPC-157 is not viable or not really what you want to do. Now, as you know, on my channel, I also speak quite a bit about longevity, anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, and keeping your cells healthy. Grapefruit juice is really beneficial here, and the science backs it up. I know there's a lot of supplements out there like, oh, antioxidant, oh, you know, fighting inflammation with no real science behind it. There are good studies to show that grapefruit juice is not one of those and has solid science about how it scavenges free radicals and how it reduces inflammation. Naringin has been shown to increase the activity of antioxidant enzymes. And in one study, animals treated with Naringin showed higher levels of these enzymes and reduced markers of oxidative stress, highlighting the protective effects of grapefruit juice against cellular damage. It can also help reduce inflammation. And what is really interesting is that in a study involving breast cancer cells, Naringin or grapefruit juice or grapefruits themselves significantly reduce the growth of cancer cells, protecting against DNA damage and oxidative stress. Both of these are needed for the growth and survival of cancer cells. So the fact that it's reducing those is huge. It's also reduced tumor cancer tumors compared to control groups, and it can protect in certain aspects against chemotherapy drugs by reducing oxidative stress, again, protecting DNA from damage in healthy cells. So there are some really positive benefits of grapefruit juice. The only thing to be aware of is that it does inhibit an enzyme called CYP3A4. Now this enzyme is responsible for metabolizing a lot of drugs. So there are certain drugs where it has an interaction because the CYP3A4 enzyme is responsible for breaking down and metabolizing drugs. And the fact that grapefruit juice can inhibit it means that when you take a drug, like for example, a statin, you might actually get a huge higher peak concentration than you would have normally. So you need to be careful if there are interactions with grapefruit juice. You can go to a website called Drug Interaction Checker to see if there's any interactions with grapefruit juice. It is a good idea if you're on other medications, but if you're not, then potentially incorporating grapefruit juice can have some good health benefits, especially if your blood is thick on TRT, on anabolics, because having thick blood is predisposing you to problems later on you don't want high hematocrit if you're on TRT or cycle. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.